Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you are new here. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to use a magic wand in Medibang Paint, and it was a requested video. In any case, for the person who requested this, and for anyone else who's wondering, I hope this helps. For those of you who don't know, the magic wand is a tool that is sort of similar to like the bucket, but for a selection layer, and I'll be showing you how it works, and how to use it. So first, let's get a blank layer. We're going to be making some areas here, just so we have things to fill in with the magic wand. Here, next, to actually get the magic wand, you're going to want to go up here to the top bar and go to this icon here, which does look like a wand or a match sort of thing. Then when you're on here, you'll see a couple options. You can sort these out before you start selecting things if you want. Firstly, there's object canvas, and there you can click on the canvas and you can change what you want to select. So basically all that means is that if you select canvas, then it could be lines on any layer and you will still select it. For example, you could be on a layer above this one and you will still be able to select the things from the layer underneath it. But if you click the layer, then it would not recognize those because it is not on the layer that we are currently selecting. I tend to keep mine on canvas, but layer is good for different things, I suppose. Then we have expand, which is fairly self-explanatory. It just makes things a little bit bigger than what you select, or a little bit smaller if you click contract. You can put this up a couple pixels if you want. I usually do just to make sure that it isn't super duper pixely on the end. Then we have close gaps. And basically all this does is if it recognizes a gap in the lines of the area that you're trying to select, it will close it for you. Or at least it will try to do its best considering it's a bot. You can put this as high or as low as you want. I don't really tend to fiddle with it. Then we have this plus and minus and the off. I usually keep this off, but the plus lets you select multiple areas at the same time, which is super duper useful, and I'll show you how to do that in a moment. So to actually select things, you're gonna click an area that you want to select, and you'll see right here that everywhere else is blue. Then whatever layer you're on or whatever layer you want to use, you can draw in that area, but nowhere else, which is really neat for texturing, for doing patterns and that sort of thing, or for just coloring certain areas without going outside the lines. I personally really like this feature and it is one that I use in every drawing pretty much. Going back to what I said about having multiple areas, if you click the plus here, then you can select another area. And they can both be selected at the same time, whereas usually you wouldn't be able to do that. Or you can click the minus and bucket unselect an area, like that. Though, as I said before, I usually keep this off unless I'm using it for convenience. Then there is deselect, which is this little button right up here, and basically whenever you're done with using the wand, you can just deselect the area. It's pretty neat and I personally recommend using it for drawings, it's just really useful in keeping things coloured properly inside the lines tidily. Whenever I do the magic wand videos, I get quite a few people commenting that you can always use bucket. And that is true, the bucket is still a super duper easy way to do it. But with bucket, you cannot do pans or different things inside that thing. It would just fill the color plainly. So while you could just bucket and clip, I personally find it easier and higher quality to do it with the magic wand. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. And if you did, maybe consider supporting. Bye!